President Trump says he's going to impose hefty tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. That sent the market into a tailspin. It's still spinning down. He made his case with a tweet this morning, and here is that tweet. When a country is losing many billions of dollars on trade with virtually... Uh, with virtually every country it does business with, trade wars are good and easy to win. Example, when we are down a hundred billion with a certain country and they get cute, don't trade anymore. We win big, it's easy. Clark Packard is with us. He's the Trade Policy Council at the R Street Institute. Sir, I know you disagree with the president. I know you think these tariffs are just flat out wrong. But what's your solution? These countries have been dumping their steel on us for a long, long time. Other presidents, notably President Bush, he's imposed sanctions, uh, trade uh, tariffs in the past. What's your solution? Well, first, thanks for having me on. I think the, the true solution here is to look at more targeted remedies. The, the problem with what the president proposed yesterday uh, was we are taking a very blunt instrument, the claim of national security, to hit China, ostensibly, but ultimately we're going to hit a lot of our allies, and I think that that's the big problem, and it's going to have negative ramifications for the okay. ripple and throughout the economy. Hey, I, I got it. You don't like it. I understand that, and a lot of people really don't like this, and the market is in a tailspin because of it. But when you say targeted, um, what, what does that mean? You, you want to target certain companies or certain countries or certain specific items? Is that what you want to do? Sure. I think a blanket tariff is a really bad idea, but there are remedies available under U.S. trade laws that would target China, bad actors, or countries, excuse me, that are uh, abusing or dumping products uh, unfairly on the market. I think we have better remedies. Again, because the claim is national security, it's a very, very serious and very blunt instrument that we're trying to use here. Now, the president also tweeted this morning about, I think he calls it counter, counteractive uh, tariffs. There's a special name for it. I can't remember exactly what it is. But mm -hmm. where if they tax something at 25 percent, our product going there, they tax it at 25 percent. We tax one of their products coming here at 25 percent. What do you say to that? I think that's a really bad idea on both sides. I think that no one wins in these sort of trade wars. Um, history has shown this, when, as you mentioned earlier, when President Bush imposed steel tariffs back in 2002. Uh, it was estimated that we lost 200,000 jobs and nearly $4 billion in wages over uh, the 18 months that those tariffs were in place. So I think, again, history shows that these things don't always work very well. Could it be that the president is just putting out an opening gambit? Here's what I'm doing with steel and aluminum. Well, we're on it, uh, everybody. Let's go. Um, it's just an initial bargaining position. Potentially, I think that that is kind of consistent with his negotiating tactics traditionally. Uh, but look at the severe market reaction. I mean, there was a huge sell off within two hours of the announcement yesterday. Uh, the Dow was down 500. Again, it's down three to 350 this morning. Um, so I think it's a fairly irresponsible uh, approach if that if that's your opening negotiating tactic, because what we're talking about is real people losing value in their 401ks, the stock market being down. I mean, th this will ripple throughout the economy. Okay. Clark Packard, we do hear you. Uh, thanks for joining the debate. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Clark. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Now, turning to that uh, congressional